Hello, Steph here from Technoovo and welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been keeping an eye out, you'll have seen that we've published a few videos on the Steam Deck so far. In one of those, Nick plugged his deck into his TV to see what performance he got at 4K while playing CSGO, which really in today's world requires very minimal power to run. Now, as expected, it wasn't great and we definitely wouldn't recommend doing that. So this time we took what could be considered a more demanding title, God of War, and ran some tests based on the performance differences between playing God of War through the Steam OS and God of War through Steam on the Linux desktop. And there are some surprising results. First things first, I wanted to make sure I set the deck up correctly with my TV. Now I bought myself a USB-C hub for this, as though Steam has announced their own dock for the Steam Deck, it's not out until spring. We'll hopefully be covering that on the channel once those drop. Now the hub itself is Ugreen and it's just a multi-functional USB-C hub that has an SD card, a HDMI capable of 4K. It's got a few USB ports on there as well for peripherals if you wanna plug in mouse and keyboards or controllers, that kind of thing, but it was just a very, very basic hub. Now this thing cost me 30 pound or something like that from Amazon. All links to the products that we use in this video will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get on with the test. So one thing I have found a little bit interesting with the Steam Deck and actually plugging it into the TV, as you can see, the Steam Deck's here, I've not plugged it in yet. I've got my dock, well, this USB-C dongle with a HDMI cable in it, uh, is when I plug it in, and as you can see, the device switches off and the screen will flash into life. Okay, so at this point, <coughs> I'm not sure how to get this any other way on my TV, but if I change to another HDMI source, and then change back to HDMI 3, you'll see in the corner that the Steam Deck is trying to force, there you go, 3840 by 2160 at 30 FPS or 30 Hertz. Let's start the launch of God of War. You will eventually see that God of War is going to, on the TV, try and force a 4K resolution at 30 Hertz. When you change it, as you can see in the top left, it's flicking between 30. I've got the Steam overlay on to show the FPS in the corner. That's the Steam overlay of the, um, of the actual Steam OS rather than what you would typically find on a desktop version of Steam. So at the moment I'm fighting this giant ogre in God of War. So if I then go down to my settings quickly, oh, let me just show you as well. Actually, let's start with settings first. So in the settings, I go to display and it sets it to borderless. I can play it windowed as well, but what this does is lock this resolution to 1280 by 800. As you can see, I'm pressing to try and change the output resolution or even the render resolution, I can't. Now what I can put on in the game is fidelity super resolution, but there is also, as you know, inside the performance mode, if you go down to advanced view, you've got your scaling filter down here as well that you can set to FSR if you wanted, change the sharpness um, like that. So at the moment, let's just put everything back to how it was. My FPS limit at the moment is sitting at 120 FPS and I've got some motion blur. So to make this test fair, I'm gonna turn off film grain and motion blur because those types of things inside of games aren't, aren't great anyway, I don't like them. Graphics, the original preset that the Steam Deck has given and has decided to set itself at, I haven't changed that either. That is the God of War um, graphical preset. You would think that because I was playing at 1280 by 800 or whatever the native, res I think the 1280 by 800, the native resolution of the Steam Deck, I would be able to get a higher FPS than the current 30 that it's outputting. But if I start running around, I am still locked at 30 and it dips down to 20 from time to time as well. Now, what um, you won't be able to particularly notice is that the input lag itself is just absolutely hideous. So if I click to dodge, that's a good, that's a good half a second after I've actually pressed that button, which 
does, does not make for a decent gaming experience at all. So what I could do at this point is if I go down to Fidelity FX Super Res and just switch that to performance, uh, you can see now that the output resolution of the game coming from the Steam Deck is actually 1280 by 800 going to the TV, um, but the render resolution has been rendered at 640 by 400, so it's that upscaling effect that's taking place for uh, Fidelity FX Super Resolution or FSR. You can see now that while the game looks a lot blurrier because, of course, the, the TV is a 4K TV, we're still getting 22, 21, 26, anywhere between sort of 20 and 30 FPS. So let me just get to the other side of this area quickly just so I can show you again if I change the HDMI input back to HDMI 3 you can see that we're still getting that 3840 by 2160 native resolution of the TV to the um, uh, 30 hertz resolution compared to the 1280 by 800 that we're trying to pump out from the Steam Deck. It's almost being locked. And I mean, that may, that may come down to the actual dock that I'm using here. This is the dock that I just got on it on uh, Amazon. Ugreen USB-C multifunction adapter. It's, it's capable of 60 hertz at a lower resolution, but I can't get that lower resolution through launching games natively on Steam OS. I've got to go into the desktop mode, which we'll be going through in a moment to show you the differences between the two. So the last test I wanted to try before heading over to the desktop mode is just to show you what the game performance is like if you put your frame rate limit uh, on in the performance menu on SteamOS. So if I limit my frame rate to 30 again here, and put my scaling filter up to SF, uh, FSR with the sharpness toned up as well, just to get a bit of extra quality, uh, come out of that menu and then go into the settings to show you display. We've also got the FSR set inside of God of War as well. Um, still running the borderless window at the 1280 by 800 uh, output resolution and 640 by 400 render resolution. And you can see now <laughs> that while, I mean, I'm not sure how well you'd be able to see it on camera, the quality of the game itself, especially if you look at the ground. I mean, look at the look at the uh, sparks or the embers coming up from the, f the the fire on the grass. It looks absolutely, <laughs> no pun intended, god awful. <laughs> so I think now that we're almost getting, I say almost getting, as soon as it's dipped down, <laughs> we're almost getting a solid thirty. We're not. It depends on, uh, I suppose, how much detail's on the screen at the moment it's sitting at a solid 30. However, the input lag does still remain, which, as I say, on a game, a game like this that that relies very heavily on dodging out the way of, of enemies, such as this guy, it's, uh, yeah, it makes it very, very difficult to play. So with all of that in mind, why don't we jump over to the desktop mode now and I'll run through the differences that the desktop mode can make to your games. So now everything's plugged into the TV, what I've actually done is I've gone to the actual settings of um, the Linux desktop just down here, uh, the system settings, and I've gone down to display configuration and you can see laptop screen, which is the Steam Deck itself, and then you've got my Hisense TV, which is connected through HDMI. I know it says DisplayPort on there, but it's actually HDMI. Uh, and you can see that I've got the choice of resolutions on here as well. So I've chosen 1280 by 720 because it's the closest um, 16 by 9 resolution that uh, matches the native resolution of the Steam Deck, which is 1280 by 800. And as you can see down here as well, if I scroll this menu down, I have got a choice of refresh rates that I can choose from, 60 hertz being the highest because that's what the dongle that I'm using is capable of doing. So what I did before starting this video is I plugged my keyboard into the USB-C dongle so I could do the shift and tab trick to get to the Steam overlay 
just so I could turn on the FPS counter inside of the game as well. And as you can see on the menu, we are hitting a solid 60 FPS. Going into the options, just to run through my display settings again, uh, same graphics driver, monitor is monitor one. I have now got the choice between a windowed mode and a borderless mode. And when I'm on a windowed mode, that does unlock my resolution that I could choose 1280 by 720, which is the whole entire screen, or I can choose 960 by 540. So I'm going to keep that on borderless. And for the, for the time being, I'm going to keep my uh, Fidelity FX resolution off. I have dropped down, as you can see, in the top right to 53 FPS. If I put it on performance, it does go up to 60. So let's leave that off for now. So as I said, and I was said before, we're playing at a 720p resolution still. And as you can see in the top right hand corner, we are getting 34, 35, 36, 35, 37. So it's bouncing around between kind of 34, 33 FPS all the way up to 37, 38. Now, if you remember, very, very similarly, the FPS inside of the Steam OS version of this game, when plugged into uh, a, a TV, especially a 4K TV, was sitting between 20 and 30. So we've already gained, I would say, 10 FPS on average more probably. So if I jump into my options again and let's go back down to the settings and go to the, the display settings again, go down to the uh, FSR and turn that, let's say, onto quality, you can see that the output resolution, the resolution that the TV is getting currently is 1280 by 720, what I set it as in the desktop. But the render resolution, what the Steam Deck is rendering at is 854 by 480. So it's rendering at a much smaller, a much smaller resolution, but upscaling that using the FSR. So now when I jump into a game, at 720p on God of War, we're sitting at, we're sitting at 42, 41, 42, 44, 46. So that to me is an incredibly playable frame rate and everything feels really, really nice and smooth. Because I've now got this FSR turned on, the resolution, or the native resolution that it's trying to kick out is just making this, making it look a lot blurrier. Of course, it's downscaling the resolution to get a better frame rate. So what I wanted to show you just now, very, very quickly, is if I change the resolution of the desktop to 1080, apply that. HDMI signal is lost again. So as you can see now, we're, we're, we're at a higher resolution, not quite the 4K the TV is capable of, but certainly 1080p, is nothing to be uh, sniffed at, especially in gaming. And just jumping into the display settings again, I'm gonna keep the FSR on um, quality just to uh, see what kind of um, kind of refresh rate we get. And again, the output resolution as the monitor, or uh, the, the resolution that the Steam Deck in its, the uh, Linux settings is set to is 1080p, 1920 by 1080, but it's actually rendering at 720p now. So as before, it was rendering at like 840 by 960 or 960 by 8, whatever it was, that number. <laughs> the lower number anyway. Image quality looks slightly better than what it was actually. Actually, it's an almost night and day difference to what it was. And the actual input lag is again, a lot better than it was before when we were playing, playing, the, uh, playing the same game through SteamOS on the TV. And again, that's down to the resolution uh, restrictions that the Steam OS seems to put on its games on Steam Deck. But this is certainly a playable resolution. As I say, the, the actual FPS, I'm not sure if you can see that. 34, 33, 32, 33, 34. It's dipped up to 35 a few times as well. So as I say, I'm. I'm extremely happy with that. So with the last test, jumping back into God of War, I'll just show you my settings again. I thought I'd just show an example of what 1080p would play like on God of War with zero um, FSR switched on. So it's just purely a 1080p resolution coming from the Steam Deck to 
the screen itself. Again, graphics on the original preset on there. Input lag, again, is, is absolutely fine. It, it's taking a little bit of a moment for actions to take place compared to what it was when I was playing at 7, um, 720 with the FSR on or just 720 native. You can also tell as well that the frame rate top right hand corner um, has literally dipped down to a solid 21, 22 FPS, sometimes jumping up to 23 and 24. It's just, for, the, for that extra resolution, especially in this game, it's just not ideal. I would certainly stick to the um, lower resolutions um, and if if you want, turn, turn a bit of uh, FSR on at the same time, especially on this game. Of course, it depends on the, the graphical capabilities of the games that you play, but uh, but certainly for, 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 for God of War. So there we go, there is the test, and I know that this is a far cry from any real professional testing, and for the most part, I just used user experience as a benchmark, as opposed to flashing loads of graphs and numbers and graphics on the screen. But I must admit, there was a very clear difference in playing God of War through the desktop Steam mode than there was on the Steam Deck itself on Steam OS while it was docked to the TV. Now on the go, however, as we've already mentioned in our Steam Deck review, the card will be just up the top there. The experience that you get on the go with that is exceptional anyway. Of course, as well, there are a number of different hubs out there that do very different things. And of course, cost is a very big factor here. Now I went cheap, as I said, 30 pounds, to see if I was able to replicate a decent playing experience for as little money as possible. And I, for one, I think that was successful. That's a wrap on this video. We've got a few other Steam Deck videos on the channel, so go and check those out. And if you want to see more from us in the future, hit that subscribe button and all of our future videos will pop up in your feed.